okay let us discuss the next problem 5.66 so you just copy something and then we will discuss you copy the things whatever given here and then we will discuss Now only thing is this problem is a totally based on mathematics so you must know complex number then only can you understand this problem. Uh, exponential notation of complex number that is any complex number can be written as r into e to the power i theta that I assume that you know that is the polar form of a complex number. Complex number either can be written as x plus i by or r plus r into e to the power i theta. Okay let us start the problem. So this problem says a certain oscillation results from addition of coherent oscillation in the same direction j k a cos omega t plus k minus 1 phi. So what this problem is saying I have displacement of different coherent sources. So let us say in a space I have a point and this point so let us say I have a point here and this point basically undergoes a large number of oscillation so you will have one oscillation another oscillation another oscillation so there are large number of oscillation going on the this point P now these all are coherent sources so these all oscillation are coherent this means the the when this is at so time period for this oscillation as well as time period for this oscillation and time period for this oscillation all are same coherent means time period has to be same now any oscillation is given by xi k a cos omega t k minus 1 phi you see xi 1 will be a cos omega t phi will be 0 k minus 1 k 1 so this is 0 so xi 1 will be simply a cos omega t xi 2 will be a cos omega t plus k is equals to 2 so 2 minus 1 so this is phi xi 3 will be omega t plus 2 phi xi 4 3 phi 4 phi so you see Amplitude will remain same only phase difference will change in the first case 0 is the phi in the second case phase difference will be phi in the third case phi will be phase difference will be 2 phi so all the waves that is reaching here will have same time period but they will have different phase and these phases will differ by phi 2 phi 3 phi 4 phi now I have to add this all waves here and find out the resultant wave phi is the wave between k and k minus 1 th you can see if you have k minus 1 th like you feel let us say if you have third you will have 2 phi if you have fourth you will have 3 phi so this difference is 3 phi minus 4 phi or 4 phi minus 3 phi that is phi so phi is the phase difference between any k th and k plus 1 th or k th and k minus 1 th oscillation we have to find what is the resultant amplitude of this oscillation so if I superimpose all these oscillation what will the result in amplitude now you see I can write this xi k something like this a e to the power omega t plus k minus 1 phi now if you see this will have two parts so if I expand this notation it will have a cos omega t plus phi plus i sin omega t plus k minus 1 phi so real part of this expression that is a cos omega t plus k minus 1 phi is same as this xi k. So now I can say xi k is nothing but real part in this expression. This is also called complex notation of any disturbance. 
So now this disturbance can be written as xi k e to the power i omega t plus k minus 1 phi. Now if I will be interested in the amplitude of this one, so simply if I take magnitude e to the power i theta will have this is a i theta so magnitude of this is 1 so this will if I take the magnitude I will get the ma 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 a value so it's very simple what I will do add I will the all the waves I will add so let us say xi k is also written as a e to the power a plus e to the power b so e to the power i omega t into e to the power i k minus 1 phi because a plus b I can always write now xi k can be written as a to the power e to i omega t into e to the power i k minus 1 phi. Now I have to add all these base. Xi 1 plus xi. So superposition xi is equals to xi 1 plus xi 2 plus xi 3 plus xi 4 up to xi n. So I have n number of waves. n number of oscillation. Now each wave can be written as. So you see in each I will have a a into e to the power a i omega t that is common. So let us put this as a common or let us say in the first case you expand. So if k is equals to 1, so it simply becomes e to the power i omega t to the power 0. k is equals to 2 a into e to the power omega, um, i omega t, 2 is 2 minus 1, 1, so e to the power i phi. Similarly, 2 phi, 3 phi, n phi. Are you getting or not? If I take a e to the power i omega t common, this becomes 1 e to the power i phi, 2 i phi, 3 i phi, 4 i phi, up to n minus 1 i phi. Because you see, in the first term there is no e to the power phi so it will start from 0 1 2 so 0 1 2 so nth will have n minus 1 phi now this is let us say this is x this is x square e to the power i theta is x then e to the power 2 i theta is x square e to the power 3 i theta x q so this is a sum of 1 plus x plus x square plus x q to the power x to the power n minus 1 now if you remember geometric progression the sum will be 1 minus e to the power i n theta divided by 1 by e to the power i theta that is 1 minus x to the power n divided by 1 minus x. So x to the power n and this becomes e to the power n becomes n i theta. So n i phi basically divided by 1 minus x. Now up to this point if you have any difficulty let me ask. What we have done we have added all the base and we have just done the mathematics. 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube up to x to the power n minus 1. Everybody knows 1 minus x to the power n divided by 1 minus x. If n minus 1 is the term, so power goes up to n divided by 1 minus x, where x is the common ratio. In each case, common ratio is e to the power i phi. Now, I am interested in magnitude. So, I have already said, if I take magnitude, if I want to find magnitude, I can take mod of xi. If I take mod of xi, I will get the magnitude. So mod of xi in this case, so mod of a, mod of e to the power i omega t, mod of numerator divided by mod of denominator. So uh, what I am applying here? So I am applying complex number. If I take mod this side, I have to take mod left side and right side both. In right side, I can take mod separately. So this is a property of mod. So mod of whole can be divided into mod of A, into mod of B, into mod of C. Even if you have numerator and denominator, you can take mod of numerator separately. You can take mod of denominator separately. This, if you are not able to understand, you ask your mathematics teacher. He will able to tell you. Or even you can uh, see any book, test book. You will find this is given in my time. Generally, we see ML Khanna and uh, we were also using sometime TMH. So basically, I was using ML Khanna. That was the good book. Maybe that book is having a lot of solved problem. And that is the, not the way to learn the mathematics personally. Now I feel uh, even physics also cannot be learned only while looking the solved problem. You have to think. But chemistry you can learn. I think chemistry you can learn just by reading. Chemistry is more than art. It's not like science. More than art. You say basically collective information. More information have you have in chemistry. Personally I have learned chemistry just by reading. I have read a lot. And then I have started to learn chemistry. Even art today I don't know much about the chemistry. Because the language is so vast. Literature is so vast. We know very little. 
but uh, still we know something and that is the only way by reading because I have a habit of reading so but mathematics and physics I don't think we can learn just by reading we have to think a lot now let us say come to the problem if I take magnitude of a this is a u to the power i omega t cos square theta plus sin square theta that is 1 now I have to take mod of this term I can expand this e to the power i omega t is cos omega t plus i sin omega t sin n phi cos n phi numerator and denominator I can also expand 1 minus cos phi minus i sin phi I will wait for half half minute so that you can write and then we will go to the next place okay so come to the next okay guys you see here now I can copy the same thing here that is a 1 minus cos n phi i sin n phi divided by 1 minus cos phi i sin phi what I am doing is I am just copying from the last page you see your note you will find the same expression and now what I will use I will use 1 minus cos phi that is 1 minus cos phi 2 sin square phi by 2 and sin 2 phi is equal to 2 sin phi by 2 cos phi by 2 so let us apply this formula 1 minus cos theta is equal to 2 sin square theta by 2 and sin theta is equal to 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 if I apply this equation I can write in the top something like this in the down also I can write, the, write down the same thing now if I take sin n phi by 2 2 2 cancels out everywhere if I take sin n phi by 2 common here and in the denominator if I take sin phi by 2 common so I will have something like this so this becomes and this becomes now this is what this is simply uh, e to the power n phi or e to the power minus n phi or even if you take mod sin square theta plus cos square theta this becomes 1 in the denominator also this becomes 1 so this is 1 this is 1 so this is simply becomes a sin n phi by 2 divided by sin phi by 2 so this is the resultant amplitude so nice answer you see resultant amplitude will depend upon phi if the phase difference is so let us take different different cases if phi is uh, pi by 2 pi let us say so if phi phase difference is phi resultant amplitude will be a sine and let us say there are two waves only so n is equals to 2 so if I take n is equals to 2 wave so this will be 2 into 5 pi by 2 so this becomes 1 are you getting or not 2 into oh this becomes 0 2 into pi by 2 so this is are you getting or not so n is 2 so 2 2 cancels out you see here this is 2 this is 2 so 2 2 cancels out phi is pi so sin pi is 0 divided by sin pi by 2 that is 1 so resultant amplitude is 0 now this is the obvious result everybody knows if two waves meet with a phase difference of pi resultant amplitude is zero everybody knows now let us say if two waves meets with a phase difference of two pi you know the answer in that case wave will be a resultant amplitude will be 2a so let us check this one so n is equals to 2 and now phi is equals to 2 pi so if I put this what you will get now you will have a sin 2 into 2 to cancel out so you will have 2 to cancel out and phi is 2 pi so you will have sin 2 pi divided by sin 2 pi by 2 that is pi oh my god so top I am getting 0 in the down denominator I am also getting 0 what is the problem so this is 0 by 0 form I cannot solve so I can't solve so this is a 0 by 0 form I don't know exactly what should I do now so this is a problem of mathematics I should to have 0 by 0 form so I cannot find using this formula so where is the problem I think this problem is because in this 
exercise somewhere I must have assumed that phi cannot be 2 pi and that's why I cannot put phi is equals to 2 pi so this is only valid for phi is equals to not 2 pi let me check the the previous piece you see what I have if I have phi is equals to 2 pi so here somewhere and cos 2 pi is 1 so 1 minus 1 0 so this expression is not valid if I have phi is equals to 2 pi and that's why this problem is happening so this expression that is 0 by 0 form I have this expression is not valid so this expression I cannot have expression with denominator is 0 so this is valid only if phi is not a multiple of 2 pi so this expression is valid only if phi should not be multiple of 2 pi otherwise in all cases denominator will be 0 so this means now I can get an answer so this expression is valid only if phi is not 2 pi this is obvious from here also denominator cannot be 0 phi if I put 2 pi so 2 pi by 2 so this is pi so this becomes 0 so this expression is valid only if phi is equals to not 2 pi multiple of 2 pi I can also put n you cannot have a n multiple of 2 pi otherwise you will have a denominator 0 so this expression I am just getting I does not know whether it will happen or not so just I am analyzing I am getting the answer ok so we will discuss the next problem you think about more you take a case n is equals to 3 and phi let us say phi is equals to pi what you can find the resultant amplitude you can always find are you getting or not? You do your own and then you just try to see what happens. We will discuss the next problem.